A Papa Port Complex. A Papa Port Complex, also known as the Lagos Port Complex, is Nigeria's largest and busiest port complex. The complex consists of a number of facilities, including a Papa Keys, third, a Papa Wharf Extension, a Papa Dockyard, a Papa Petroleum Wharf, financed and built by the colonial government of Nigeria. It became the nation's busiest port for exporting agricultural produce from the provinces of western and northern Nigeria in the late 1920s. Administration was transferred to the Nigerian government upon the granting of self-government and in 2005. History A major factor that led to the creation of a Papa port complex was the completion of the Western Railway with Lagos as the main terminus, Thereafter, a need arose for a facility to load and discharge goods in either direction of western Nigeria and the northern provinces. But at the time, much of the natural harbors within Lagos were not conducive for ships due to the presence of a natural sandbar and heavy tides. In 1906, a large capital expenditure was budgeted for the dredging of Lagos Harbor, and the construction of two stone moles to facilitate access to ocean-going vessels. In 1913, the engineering works were completed and ocean-going shipping vessels had access to the Lagos Harbor. In 1919, a 180-foot wharf was extended to Apapa. A location had been decided will be the terminus for the Western Railway. In 1926, Following the completion of four berths totaling 1,800 ft in length, a papa began to dominate the other wharves at Ido and Lagos Island otherwise as customs wharf in the shipment of export goods. Between 1928 and 1929, it handled 201,307 tons of exports goods, and between 1937 and 1938, a Papa Wharf handled about 370,000 tons of cargo. In 1953, it handled close to 700,000 tons. For the end of World War Roman II, additional engineering works led to the reclamation of land for ground facilities such as passenger terminals, cargo sheds, and custom facilities. During this period, control of the port complex was diffused, the Marine Department was in charge of maintaining passage. The rise of movement of goods by road put a strain on the existing road infrastructure, and a new outlet was constructed to link Apapa through Mushin to Ibadan and further up north. Beginning in 1956, the newly formed NPA began to expand the number of berths within the complex, adding an additional six berthing space. This extension of the wharf was completed in 1961. A second extension was completed during the first National Development Plan between 1962 and 1968. The increased space caused the port to further lead in cargo handling and by the end of 1966, it handled a cargo load of 1.9 million tons. After the second extension, the land area of the wharf was about 100 hectares with the ability to handle 20 loading or discharging vessels at a time. A third extension along the Badagri Creek was completed in 1979. The authorities created facilities for loading and discharging bulk cement and grains. Today, the Nigerian Ports Authority owned and administered operations in Lagos Port Complex from 1956 until it was concessioned in 2005. During this period most of the services within the port were performed by NPA with the exception of stevedoring and manufacturing. In 2005, the complex was divided into multiple terminals and sold to private operators to manage for a set number of years. Traffic The deep water berths of Apapa Keys was completed in 1926. It was envisioned that a large amount of traffic would be by rail. However, as the port grew and trucks became the preferred means of transporting goods to and from the port, equals equals references equals equals